Hi, this is Mark with Ninja Training TV, and we have a new one for you this time. This is going to be starting to get into the school of Kotoru, and this is going to be a fun school. We're going to start with basics at first, and the full fundamental basics are how to do the fists for this school. So let's go ahead and try. I'll get a close up for you guys, and we'll do the fists. Perfect. Awesome. We're going to try to get my hands in here a little bit closer. And so here we go. So the fist with Kotaru, the first fist that we're going to do is going to be Fudoken fist. This is the immovable fist. And how I usually teach students on how to make this fist is you're going to curl your fingers down, thumb comes across, and you line up your knuckles behind your radius and ulna. And we usually hit with vertical fists. Um, all hitting with Fudoken fist for this level. The next fist that we're going to have for Kotoru is the Boshiken fist. The way we do this fist is start with the Fudoken fist, bring your thumb up on top, and then bring the front finger out a little bit more with that knuckle. They're not really all going to line up. This gives it a little bit more of a brace while you're stabbing in and hitting with both the knuckle and the thumb. This is Boshiken. The next fist is called Neoken. We also call it Kopoken in other uh, arts of ours, like Yokoru and some of the other ones. You're going to start with the Fudoken fist. The thumb comes all the way up on the top, and this time the thumb has the knuckle facing up. This is good for hitting soft tissue targets underneath arms and the temples and things like that. The next fist for Kotoru is Shikan Ken. Shikan Ken is extended knuckle finger fist. And Ishizuka Sensei uh, showed me this one. His version of this one is where you're having your thumb at the top, almost like Kopoken, but the thumb is out more and your fingers and knuckles are extended a little bit more. Some people in other arts will do extended knuckle fists like a panther fist like this. They're slightly bent in on this one, and this gives you a really good fist to hit with soft tissue targets. If you're hitting it and it hits a hard tissue target, it turns into having your fingers collapse and into a Fudoken fist later on. Next fist is Kiten Ken, or Shuto fist. This can be done with a Mote and Ura. And what I like to teach with this one is I'm going to have my Fudoken fist, I push my thumb through the knuckles, and then I open up and have a rooftop, like a top of a house. This is a turn-causing fist, so you're going to hit sometimes with the fleshier part of this, or maybe the bone on the end, and then you're also going to come through and use a little bit of a spiral to come underneath. This has a lot of applications where you can sneak it into places where a Fudoken fist might not fit if there's armor and helmets on, and this can fit right inside of those and make its way to hit the neck. Okay, so the next fist for Kotoru is Go Shitanken. Ichi, Mi, San, Shi, Go. Go. Fingertips, right? So these are five fingertips. These is also called Shakuken in other styles, but this one is more of a five finger uh, fist hit, and so this can be going into soft tissue targets, eyes, all sorts of places for the throat and things like that as well. Mm -hmm. The next fist for Kotoru is Shitan Ken. The difference between the Go Shitan Ken and Shitan Ken, they bring those together. What's interesting is I've taken some different types of massage and uh, modalities for healing and things like that, and this is a way for you to concentrate your actual chi when you're doing it in different ways for healing. So this is, makes sense that they will have it for a uh, fist for ninjutsu as well. This is uh, another one and another art that I study, a Filipino art, where it's a bird peck fist. And you can really hit hard with this more than you would think you can. And if you're hitting appropriate targets, this can come in and hit, and it's really nice. The next fist for Kotoru is San Shitan Ken. Ichi ni san. You're going to have your pointer finger, middle finger, and ring finger. Your thumb holds down your pinky finger, and these three come together. This one you'll see a lot in our Sanshin no Kata, but it can come in from different angles and hit as well. It can also strive forward like a spear thrust and hit into people as well. I've seen some people take the three fingers and make the tips all go together. Other people, it extends and just comes at whatever the fingers will naturally go. So San Shitan Ken, three finger strike.
Okay, so the next fist is called Shuko Ken. So Shuko are the claws that are typically made out of metal and have a band on them. This is actually hitting with the back of that fist. So this makes a lot of sense to have this be one of the fists that we would use because if you had your metal band on the back of your fist, it's very effective for blocks and for striking into soft tissue or targets like the temple as well. The next Kotaru fist is Hapaken. Hapaken is to disrupt the ears. You'll cup your hands and actually do a strike. Sometimes if somebody grabs you up and you have your hands free, you can come right around and cup your hands. And when I teach this to kids, I always have them make their mouth like an oval and see if you can make the popping noise. And it makes it kind of fun. So this is Hapaken. The last fist for Kotoru is Shuki Ken. Shuki Ken is elbow strike, and you can do this one in a lot of different ways. So you could have a rising strike, somebody could be up to the side of you or behind, or you can be coming down with it as well. We see Shuki, uh, Shuki Ken in all sorts of regular MMA matches and things like that. It's a very effective tool because your body usually has to step in when you're doing this strike. All right, so that is all of our fists. I hope you guys enjoyed the basics. Now we're gonna to start to get into some stances next, so stay tuned for our next video. If you like these and you wanna see more, follow the links below. Please hit the like button and go ahead and share us out there. We're loving what we're doing with all of our new videos coming out, and I hope you guys enjoy them as well. Have an awesome holiday.